is the lightweight MMORPG news segment. And the first game on the docket is Overlord. We'll be covering 3.7, uh, 0 3.7, which is new boss mechanic. This is probably one of the bigger updates that we'll be going over tonight. 038, I'm just going to say 38. Uh, 38 was some changes to the guilds, to market, and miscellaneous. And then 3.9 is a camp change. Let's start with boss mechanic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 0.3.7. Uh, this introduces the bosses where you could do two per day. Uh, and it takes three players to query up. Uh, or to queue up, excuse me, not query. And it, it costs 25 gems. And if you get the three players, you get the the, the bonus from the boss uh, or a boost from the boss. If you don't, you get your gems back. Pretty self-explanatory. There's no, like, do I beat it or do I not beat it? It's you sign up. If enough people sign up for it, you get the reward. So uh, there's that boss mechanic there. Um, and then we have the market. Uh, it's just uh, notifications and stuff like that. And a guild leader can transfer leadership uh, to guilds, which is kind of super nice. Uh, for those who want to ban in their guilds and then finally we have ye old camp update uh, Which is my favorite update to be honest for overlord is that you don't have to go It's not bound by a city because I was not uh, Going to progress with the camps unfortunately because I didn't feel like going to any other city at the time So now now I'm able to continue using my camps uh, which is Super super nice like I was saying before our Pison rudely dropped out uh, camp, amp, uh, camp update is probably my favorite update right now. And then the developer has already announced that he's working on a PVE game. Pison and I reached out to him for, you know, to help with ideas and stuff like that. And then he actually sent me the, um, the, the dev log or, you know, Google Sheets kind of thing for tracking ideas. And so, uh, I am currently working with the dev to help, uh, give ideas about the raw gameplay mechanics. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited to, to help out him out because this dev is absolutely phenomenal. Eon is constantly talking to the community and constantly updating his game and, and you know, accepting feedback and making changes to the game for that. Uh, so top notch to e Eon is on an amazing dev. Crazy updates and, uh, you know, constant communication. What more could you ask for? But that's Overlord. So for Idle MMO, uh, last stream we went over uh, another uh, another PSA, okay? And they had they caught some some cheaters, automation, things of that nature. They made changes to their um, ways to detect cheating in the game, and it's just getting worse because this PSA came out yesterday, and it says we are aware that some players are engaging in the buying and selling of in-game gold and items for real money. This is strictly prohibited. While we have not yet taken action, be advised that a ban wave is imminent. Any accounts involved in these transactions that do not come forward following this PSA will be permanently banned with no possibility of appeal. If you bought gold, you will be banned. If you've sold gold, you will be banned. This applies only to real world trading where transactions occur outside the game between players. It does not apply to legitimate in-game transactions such as purchasing tokens or membership items through Google Play, Stripe, or the Apple Store, and then trading them within the game using the trade system for or market. Uh, and so that's the main PSA here, and it's it's pretty much like classic WoW with like the Chinese gold bot, like farming. Yeah. I mean, you saw it in RuneScape, you saw it in every MMO. Um, it's hard to like stamp, like stamp out of existence, but. It's happening in Idol MMO, which is a, insane. A, a corner, like a corner, like corner store Idol game that insane. people kind of like pass on, you know. Also, like one blowing real money on gold, gold of all things for this game. Uh, Gold's so useless, dude. I don't get it. I don't get it. Absolutely wild. But also, too, like, how are they catching this? How do they know? Like, obviously, like you could like. You could see trades occurring, like, here's some gold for nothing, but at the mm -hmm. same time, uh, you know, like, come on, like, you, you would have to look outside the game. Uh, Polly Sunshine saying an Idle MMO seller followed me on Instagram, so maybe they're yeah. scouring social media for this and looking for the specific counts and then building out a web from there. I would imagine that's the only way you could do that. But if people, like, had a secret discord and like they knew nothing about it you can't catch that that's so hard but props to them for finding out like that's 
I would not want to deal with that as a, if I was a game dev. That's got to be a lot of work. I just bro, everyone goes through it though. I yeah, know. Everyone... I, I would hate that. Next on the docket for Idle MMO, mm -hmm. we have an update. They added an item database, which if you play Galahad Creative's other game, uh, Simple MMO, you know it's got its own database that's being built up as we speak, and uh, now Idle MMO has such a thing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, have you used this at all, Crazy Fi? No, I will be yeah. honest with you. Yeah. I don't care about the items. I don't care about the market. I just raid. That's all I do. I raid That's for the all guild. I do. That's like yeah. uh, there's a lot to this game that I could probably like do, but I I just raid. I like raiding, and that's what I focus on. Yeah, I mean, I just want to be better than the guilds that that passed us up. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, One day. And one other thing to note within uh, 0 0.22.0, mm -hmm. they uh, part of the update, they said this verbatim, some changes to catch more pesky cheaters. And then we had that PSA about the gold, the gold transaction. So uh, interesting the stuff. I'm just I'm more I'm interested to see how many more methods of cheating is right. going to be like uncovered. Right. It's so, simple. So though. far, or, we've, uh, had, we've had botting for the battles. Yeah, we've had uh, multiple, account, accounts. multiple accounts, and now buying gold with real money. What yeah. else can you do in this game? <laughs> like, bro, this is like, this is looking like a triple A MMO. I, I mean, know, I know. Like, you're having the... triple A MMO problems for an I, like for an indie dev. Like, god damn, guys, calm down. Where's, <laughs> where's the where's the forbidden erotic RP uh, town? Oh, Jesus and I don't Christ. know. <laughs> Asking for asking for a costume in chat. We'll now move on to the next game, which is Ironwood RPG. It is the GOAT. It is Crazy Fire and I's favorite idol game to date. Yes, sir. And uh, we have two updates. We have 1.0.8 and 1.0.9. A lot of the uh, just like, I don't know, I guess you could call them minor fixes to improve, greatly improve the game. My favorite is Guild Events now reward twice as many cr credits and require 50% more uh exp for completion all right go on what was your thought the general updates uh yeah guild events more credits that's oh that like. was a huge one that yeah. was like the biggest change in ironwood yeah. uh because man earning credits sucks in that game <laughs> yes yeah yeah credits are slow uh so it's kind of it's it's nice to see that um and then the other one was this just like taming and expeditions mm -hmm. which is great um and that the guilds were given their the extra credits if they started yeah. a, a event we, right before. We started an event, like, literally minutes before this freaking update pushed, and we thought we were, like, robbed out of all these credits. Yeah. Uh, but no, he made it, you know, he made it right. Yeah, he did right. He did right. All right. All right. So that's Iron, that's Iron Road RPG. That's my deleted audio. Let's move on to some simple mo news. So in simple mo, there's something major going on here. Um, for those of you who don't know, Captain Maris has been MIA for, like, two weeks in-game. If you don't know, Captain Maris was a former Old Salts member. I believe he was like the leader at one point. Yes. And uh, eventually, when Old Salts, you know, bit <laughs> bit the bit the bed, uh, moved on to TSL and was in TSL for a very long time. Uh, and then recently, I think it's been about two months, you know, shy of two months or so. Uh, Maris asked me, you know, is this a good idea? Uh, creating my own guild and acting as a bank. Because the game's bank system, you know, there's no, like, APY, there's no interest earned, there's, like, no loan system, right? It is very risky to be a player and then handle other players' money. There's a lot of good faith in that, and I I was like, Maris, do not freaking do this. But he did it, and people used him, okay? So here's the deal. Maris went on to create their own guild, um, the Maris Bank Guild or some shit like that, I can't yeah. remember the name, uh, where Maris would accept players' money. Uh, and had interest tied to those, you know, players' deposits. Um, and I, I know Captain Maris was using real money to stay ahead of the interest. I don't know what type of interest he was, you know, using, uh, but he had multiple players tied into his system, um, and you know, while he was running it from his guild. So apparently, uh, Captain Maris emptied the guild bank, deleted the guild. Though I don't think it's deleted. I, I need to confirm that myself. Uh, it has been away for two weeks, which, you know, I've, I've gone over. And shout out to Curb. Uh, I, I don't know if I saw him earlier, but Curb from TSL 
uh, has been scouring Simple Mo to pull all this info together. And then also um, a couple others were helping me it's in the Discord. Around. Okay, uh, so the guild's still in the game. Uh, so like Cord and is a callus we're helping as well uh, from DPS. So um, at, at first, nothing was heard about people missing their money. Uh, it's just that Captain Mara shut down operations. Uh, well, from Curb, Curb was saying talking to a few people, from what I've gathered, at least four people have confirmed, you know, one billion um, individual investments. And they're, you know, they're still waiting to hear back from other players. Um, one has been confirmed opening a ticket through mod mail, uh, but no updates on the mod reply at this time. Uh, and... People, because no one pulled, or at least no one has pulled the API and made it uh, public, uh, the Discord server is believed to be um, deleted, or everyone was kicked from it, because no one's left inside of it. And yeah, what's going on? Uh, well, Izakalis went even further, because apparently um, there's a handful of DPS individuals tied into this system. And it's not millions, okay? It's not billions missing. It's potentially trillions of gold missing from these play this collective group of players who used maris as a bank and it's confirmed no money has been returned now curb he said he was very blessed because he pulled his money like literally days before this happened like he just pulled it because you know he's, he was getting out of it and then bam radio silence and everything shut down but we're t we're potentially i haven't seen I haven't seen the numbers for myself like stacked up and everyone, you know, but Izakalis is passing on trillions of gold missing. And Crazy Fight said, well, that's good for inflation. <laughs> Dude, I don't know about you, chat. I don't. I don't. Go on. What, what do you want to say? I don't understand this. How is this not like a Ponzi scheme? Banned from the game? How is this not a Ponzi scheme? Like, uh, what was his face? Rupert Madoc or whatever that the dude who went to jail? Or like taking rich people, like kept taking rich people's money, saying like, "Oh, I can give you oh, more. Yeah. I can give you more." And really, yeah. he was just taking in more money and then showing it off, like he was making money. How is this not the same thing? I mean, I don't, I don't think Maris is a bad dude. Like he's been solid within the community up until this point. But like, how is this not a Ponzi scheme? Like, how are they doing this? Maris was making payouts. Like he was sure, but like it would have to but... be like people bringing. <laughs> money in to pay out the other people yeah right? yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> i he, listen i he de he went over the beginning and it was just a way for him like literally to burn in real life money like he was he was not making anything from this at, in the beginning he was buying diamonds or whatever or, yeah yeah he was buying diamonds to sell them to turn yeah. into gold but yeah this was i told him it was super risky and he was like i don't know i'm bored and this doesn't exist in the game and then this happens. It was bound to happen, dude. You cannot, no matter, no matter if they are your, you know, blood brother in your guild or whatever. You should not trust a single point of failure with your in-game gold. You just don't do it. I, no. my personal opinion is, if you lost some money, you shouldn't get it back. The devs should be like, you took the risk. That's on you. Bummer. It's true. I, I wouldn't it, give the it's money back. Super. I feel for all those people. I have no idea what that money looks like. The one time I got to one billion, well, actually, I've gotten to one, uh, one billion a couple of times. But the the really awful one time was when I was my safe mode expired and I lost it all. But anyway, that's not that's the story for here or there. But uh, that is true. That is a personal risk you took. Uh, and you know, Ghost Bear in chat says maybe it was too much to deal with, and he just skedaddled. Yeah, he maybe had a breaking point. So Maris, if you don't know, it happened with Old Souls 2 before he came back to TSL or came, went to TSL, excuse me. He's been he's been like this before where he's dipped, said absolutely nothing, comes back and acts like nothing happened. But that being said, there are very there are a deliberate steps Maris took to drain the guild bank, to shut down the discord. I mean, I even pinged him in our Discord because he's still there. He hasn't left. And he's just completely radio silent right now. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'm sure Curb will update me later. Is Callus, I'd appreciate it if you get any more info. Uh, send it to Couch Cat's way in the Discord. Um, and then 
crazy fire just real quick i guess i mean how's the event so far for you the uh retro mania event in simple ml oh yeah so i would say that the end of the first day kind of sucked because there's like no drops i was like well i just lost all excitement on the first day and then like to find out that like the level one drops were like 700 and something a, a day at first and then it was boosted to 1400 uh roughly around there and then like that kind of really sucked and then um i was like why, why it's only 700 drops a day like that really blows but then they <laughs> what blows they like they did what should have been done in the beginning and i applaud them for getting to that point though like you know like, listening to the feedback and making changes on a weekend too uh they they created level zero uh, cores which like I, that should be the way it goes like you flood in my opinion to do a card event right you flood like a low level like level zero right or whatever you want to call it into mm -hmm. the gameplay so it feels like you're constantly earning something towards this event and then you make the higher tier ones harder to acquire over time uh so i like at the end of it i was pretty happy about it i bought all the cards basically and then i was done with the event like I got a few of the events, uh, I've got a few of the cards. Chuby gave me some really good ones, and then I bought the rest. And uh, I was like, you know, what? I'm good. I don't care about the avatars or tools. So I got my card, so that's all that matters. At the end of the day, I enjoyed it. Okay, yeah. Um, I've discussed this already on the seven stream, and a little bit last stream. But like, I honestly just didn't feel like I was in an event. Yeah. Um, I applaud them for changing, because we've we've talked about this. Uh, we're a huge stickler on aesthetics with events and just things and you know big things going on in the game change the way it looks so i applaud them for adding different um you know background art and different things in the game to make it feel like oh yeah this is unique this is going on but honestly i didn't really feel like i was in an event um there's no centralized location which that's fine you know earning event um resources or event currency to just stick to your regular routine that's kind of nice but yeah i didn't feel like i was an event i had to i had to check a whole different screen notification i had to check a whole different tab to even find out if i got anything uh that i don't like period um i know with the ui um you know it, 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 maybe it just can't happen but i don't like that i'm doing ba you know doing quests stepping whatever and i have to check my notifications to make sure you know oh did i miss something did i get a core um that kind of like drew me out of the experience or at least pushed me further into thinking i'm not uh, there's no event <laughs> you know there's no event besides like a different landing page um yeah uh i again i applaud them for doing something different i'm glad they use people from the community to make an event again this is like the first of its kind um i could only imagine if they were to incorporate like x buys event into the game at this magnitude you know with like voting for the players like there's an actual landing page or our guild or fine you know or, or or once a year your annual sgl award show can you imagine if we had like a landing page like things were happening in the game around that like that'd be so sick and uh here and kevin showed that you know people from the community could do that i mean kevin is a really great artist Pierce, I guess, does art too. <laughs> anyway, I'm just, I'm, I'm messing, I'm messing. Um, but yeah, so yeah, cool that they did something different. I didn't feel like I was in an event. Uh, I didn't even get a tool, man. I thought this would be, I was like, man, I don't give a shit. I'm probably going to get a tool. Um, and I didn't even get that. So, you know what? Okay. <laughs> but um, that will do it for Simple MMO. Uh, and that will do it for the Lightweight MMO uh, RPG News segment. Thank you for everyone um, for sending us specifically with Simple MO, you know, um, sharing these storylines that are developing in the game. Uh, and thanks, shout out to devs for, you know, updating their games because we would not have content otherwise. 